Okay, so I'm leaving New York in two days and I've been here pretty much exactly six months now, half a year, non-stop New York. Um, and I thought I'll make a video with Jay because I met Jay in my first week in New York, actually on my last day of my first week. Um, we've spent a lot of time together, um, way too much time. I think actually we we lived together at Mia's place, we lived together at Eswin's place, and then we lived together at the Outpost place. So we've been roommates. I've hung out with them pretty much every day. I think like 95% of all the days I've been in New York, I've been with this guy. So he's seen the whole thing from beginning to end and all of it. And now that I'm leaving and he's moving to... What? How did you survive? <laughs> How did you survive? Um, and now that he is moving to Europe, Europe, I think it's a cool idea to kind of get his perspective of my time here in New York. So, welcome Jay, welcome to the show. Thank you, I finally made it to the Sunday. <laughs> yeah, I might cut you out, I can just cut the video here and then just have the audio. Yeah. Yeah, I no can do that, or just, <laughs> just put a black bar on there. Just um, like Muffle my voice and like this, like pixelate me and yeah. all that. Yeah. yeah, that works. Yeah, I, I can figure it out like somehow to people not see you. Um, Just but... make it make it the Bane voice for Batman. Okay, yeah. cool. I'll do that. Um, so we met on the first day, no, on my last day of my first week. So first question: What was your first impression when you met me for the first time six months ago? Mm -hmm. Go. Um, my first impression was like, who is this guy who just told me I only have half an hour because I have a plane, I have a flight tonight that I'm not going to catch. Right. And uh, that was my first sentence. Yeah. That was my first sentence. Yeah. It stuck with me because like, um, it was pretty, uh, to me it was kind of like, okay, well that tells me a little bit, a little bit and everything I need to know about this guy. He's going to stay in New York. Yeah. Yeah. You said, maybe I'll book a flight next week. Sometime into the conversation, I already knew you were, not, you were not gonna do that. No. So, he was either lying to me or not really sure what he wanted, but I knew that he wasn't gonna go anywhere. Yeah. And uh, the half an hour turned into a whole day. Right. And we went to meet up in the evening. Yeah. With Adrian, actually. With Adrian. I think was, that was our first day. When did we meet again? Was it the next like day? The next day, yeah. Because you texted me after I left, uh, you know, a weird photo of yourself saying, this is me. <laughs> I have a, I have a meetup that I'm going tomorrow, you want to go? I have a tendency of sending weird photos to people yeah. when I first meet them. Yeah. Um, cool, first impression. Then, when did we move into Mia's house? Was that like uh, the week? So that was a week after when I was actually helping Joseph and Mia like sort out some some stuff with the moving or whatever. And I was like, oh, I'll just stick, I'll just stay two night and one night turned into two nights and then two nights and yeah. three nights. We slept at Mia's place in one couch. That was cozy. Um, and then afterwards we... Well, you made it even weirder because Why? for those who don't know, Finn sleeps in his underwear and day one, without even... He was just like... Took everything off. Because you sleep like, in your underwear, it's just so much more comfy. I know, but still, like, we were sharing a couch and you didn't, he didn't care. So I was like, okay, well, he's comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so... I think I, I want to ask this question very openly and not not frame it. What? How would you describe the six months? Because you now know me six months. We have spent a lot of time together. You've seen the whole thing, the whole journey. What are your thoughts? Probably some of the most interesting six months of my entire life. Of your life? Yeah. My life too. Because. Uh, I was going through some stuff, uh, work-wise, and then having to like somewhat reinvent what I was doing because I thought I was freelancing, but I wasn't. And it, the time came for me to actually freelance at my job and have that energy that you need to do freelance work. And 
and you kind of like throw that in me when I didn't really have that energy. So that's I think that's why I stuck around because you were a good source of energy. Nice. Yeah. So what is what is the best trait of me? Give me a nice compliment now. Your butt. <laughs> <laughs> I have a pretty good butt. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, it's your ambition and your determination to do good for people and to help people and to just generally be a good person. That's like your best trait. What's my worst trait? This me. Uh, you're judging. I feel like Charlie wants to say <laughs> something. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Your best trait, your lack of balance in certain things. That's that was, your worst trait. He always tells me I need balance. So You'll understand that one day. I ate Oreos yesterday. He always wants me to eat sugar and I never eat sugar. Don't want yesterday you to eat I, sugar. I eat Oreos. I want you to enjoy life like, and not like, just what do you limit, mean? Don't limit yourself. You don't limit yourself in other things. Keep I'm enjoying yourself. life every fucking day. I know you do. But you're gonna get to that point. Trust me. Oh, that's why I don't worry about it. I know okay, you're so balance. I don't have balance, I guess. What do you mean when you say that? Because they don't see a lot of life. Um, so Finn is a very dedicated person and right now he's going through like everything he needs to do to create something of value here in New York and so he'll he'll put to the side a lot of social stuff and you know that most people would do on normal days normal days especially here in New York social you, stuff yeah I'm hanging out with people I know but for a purpose you hang out with people for a purpose um, and and it's all part of like what you're trying to achieve like the, 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 so, the way you socialize with people is based on 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 that that you want to build create you don't take time off from that like we're doing today I get it yeah what do you say it kind of sounds as if I'm like using like meeting people no 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 I'm not in no way shape or form I said what I want to say but again you you know if, if I was to tell you, let's go watch a movie, you'll say it's not effective. No, I'm not watching movies. Exactly. So it's like, it's little things that eventually, and especially in this city, I know the city is, it's been really good to you and you've been really good to it. And, um, but eventually it's going to get to a point where you are, you are going to understand what living in this city is. Our cameraman Charlie just dropped shit. Dude, you're fired. Yeah. And he just like, But yeah, you're gonna understand eventually. Like those things are part of your life, and like separating from the work and from the ambition, from all that, is also very important. So, I guess. I mean, yeah. I'm learning that already. Like, yeah. I think like going back for six months after six months, I've been home after three months for like a week. But I like try to work in that time, and now I think like I'm still gonna work, but I'm also gonna reflect and shit. You know. And I ate sugar yesterday, so <laughs> I'd, say, mean, I'd say like there's a lot of balance in my life right sugar now. Sugar and bread. Handfuls of Oreos. <laughs> and yeah. That never happened. And bread. You Colombian bread. Like, I ate bread too. If you're gonna too. eat sugar, like at least eat something that's like good, like Oreo. Like I like the Oreos. No. What's no, wrong with like, Oreos, dude? No, but like if you're gonna. It's Oreos like, are so American, like. No, but it's like if you're gonna. I don't go eat out, Oreos. Yeah, so go out like I eat sugar and sugary. Yeah. You're missing Spend out. like ten dollars on a nice piece of cake, you know? Yeah, like I'll eat a nice piece of cake or nice ice cream or... You know how when you look at the... at the ingredients? Uh-huh. Did you take a look at the ingredients of Oreos? Because I think, I think I if think you do... it's turning out to be like a long Oreo thing. <laughs> We're but just I think, talking about... But I think if you did, if you actually looked at the ingredients, you'll be like, what the hell am I putting in my sure. in my in my, in but my that body? But anything anyway. Cool. Let's stop yeah. the Oreo talk. Um, let's bring it back. Let's let's bring it back. Do I have a question? Let me think. What do I want to ask you? Do you want to ask me something? Oh, you what have was, a question. What was your first impression of me? God damn it! I mean, so Joseph introduced us, so I already yeah. knew that I probably will like you. Um, and you were just like 
good to hang out with. That's why after we met, I asked you if you want to come to that meetup. That's why the next day I asked you if you want to hang out again. Also, yeah. I didn't have a lot of friends, so I just went with them. Um, you know, I, I, I just didn't have many other options, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> um, and you're very unconditional with, um, if you want to spend time with someone, you like have no problem spending the whole day with someone if you like doing it. That's like well, something that, that... Someone that's valuable to me. Yeah. Someone that I can actually... Well, not just valuable, but someone that oh, I can I'm actually valuable value. to you? You're super valuable. You're my best friend. Uh -huh. what, what value did I provide to you? An intense amount of energy that I needed to get shit done. Okay. Yeah. Like Really? Yeah, I got home last night and I was thinking, I was like... I knew, I knew that if I had, it's like if I lived with you guys and I had gone home, instead of going home and just like laying down, I would have been on my laptop and everything. I would have been working on my next project. And you, like, you know, I can do that by myself. It's not like someone, you know, yeah. it's not like I, it's not like nothing's stopping me, but like being one in that specific environment is so great. But with you, just being around you makes me want to do more creative things. You're an excellent it source of energy. Me, it makes me want to push myself harder. I think it's the hair. Yeah, it's the hair. <laughs> not, a, not a fucking chance. <laughs> <laughs> I just like that thing. How would you describe me as a person? If you needed to like, give someone like, a description of like who's Finn? Smart. Humble. Smart. Um, goofy. I'm so humble, dude. Goofy. Goofy. I'll take that. Are we a still, still bit, speaking loud enough, by the way? A little bit okay. of an asshole. You know? In what way? Tell them all the ways I'm an asshole. Let's, um. let's expose me right now. <laughs> well, if Finn will tune you out, will tune you out completely, <laughs> completely after he hears exactly what he wants to hear, and then just like you keep talking, and he's like. And then he'll complete, completely, you know, constantly smile. Like, <laughs> it's not even that, like, he'll be on his phone, just like looking down. I'll be like, Finn, 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 Finn. And then 10 minutes later, he looks up to what? Do you need something? Dude, when I do an Instagram story, I can't do anything else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just all the energy. Is <laughs> also, he, um, he walks really fast. And he'll, like, forget that he's with people. Because you know he's trying to be efficient. You need I'm gonna to I'm gonna use up, this bro. for efficiency with you a lot because you don't you, like a, my a efficiency, lot of, bro. Well, you you Walking are very inefficient it... in so many ways. Which ways? We'll talk about this. Um, a lot of times when you focus so much on efficiency, you actually not be efficient. Um, it's meta, bro. So, but anyway, so he walks really fast, right? But God forbid, he says something that he wants to record <laughs> or he'll stop and you're walking if you're walking ahead of him you'll lose him because he won't say hey listen can you wait because i'm gonna do this or can we stop so i can film because this you have or, random ideas bro i know but you will just completely ignore whoever you're around with yeah so if i have an idea for a story i just like make the story and i can't multitask i can't even walk when i sometimes i do it yeah you do it but you completely forget that you with people yeah and you forget that you're yeah you know, that's uh anyway um it's funny though <laughs> i always find myself like ah, damn it yeah what's your favorite story with both of us not like in general like um with us, you know have something i don't think i've thought about that um for it's just been a collection of moments that. What's but your favorite moment? Do you remember anyone? Any? I mean, you don't have to, but I remember the day, and I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a romantic in a way, and like, I'm like, they always says that, you know, I'm crying for shit, and like, uh -huh. always crying and all. But when we were gonna go, to, we were planning to go to VidCon, and and you find out about the road trip, and and you felt bad because we had plans and you didn't want to like uh -huh. 
go on the road, road trip in a way because we had made plans. And uh, that was to me a, a very nice moment because it showed me how you value my friendship. Oh. And uh, yeah. I'm good at pretending. I'm a good actor. Yeah. I think is. my, like, now that I look Do they hear it, you? Yeah. Cool. Uh, like, you can hear me enough to put, like, subtitles on that. Okay. But, like, um, my favorite memory is, I think it was, like, when I first met you guys. Uh-huh. And, of course, we, we just got dinner at Diggin. Of course. Diggin. Of course. And we're walking around Union Square, and you're just talking about where you're going to move to next. And, like... You know, you didn't you didn't have to stay together. You you guys could have gone your separate ways, but you just like there was this subtle acknowledgement that you were gonna stay together. Like no matter where you moved, you guys were gonna. Well, he was the first one to actually bring it up because when we when he when we found out about the place and um, and uh, Esquen's place in uh -huh. the Upper West Side, it was a perfect deal for Finn at the time, and he. He could have taken that on his own, and he just sat down across the room from me and said, "You want to do this together?" So that I knew we were gonna be friends for a while. No. Oh. A while. A while. He <laughs> were a while. It's been a while, but yeah. it's been a very short while. I, I'm very emotional. But. <laughs> Um, um, but yeah. Would you say I'm a New Yorker? <laughs> Just like... Almost. Very New York. Almost. What's so funny about that? Everyone wants to be one, right? <sighs> like... You... you. Yeah, I don't think you're a New Yorker yet in terms of like... Like... I don't know. But one, one thing that does stand out to me is that you have like utilized this city more than anyone in, in, in such a unique way that I've, I've never seen before. And like like I, you know like what like I'm sixteen so I you know I haven't seen so much business going on. Like I don't I don't know what's going on really but I've never seen someone utilize the city's resources the way you have. Because like you know you you take a chance on everyone. You took a chance on me. Like I was like like Literally, like you, what I, 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 I damned you when you had like probably like 25k, and you didn't have to respond to some kid saying, "Oh, I can edit videos for you," but you did. And then we had a meeting and we talked for like two hours. But you know, you know, my point is like a lot of people, especially in the city, are not willing to take the chance on what could be could perceived as like the little guy. But you know what I mean? Well, I'm gonna tell guy. you something. After you guys met, he came home and he said, I just met a really dope kid. And he showed me all your work, all your stuff. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're, they're very romantic with each other. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, there was a question about what. what what would you say is like the thing that stands out the most from the Finn you met six months ago and the Finn you know now? Like, what changed? How am I different? What like what what's what's the difference? The Finn I met six months ago was very um, all over the place, trying to figure out what he wanted to do. He had no clue, no idea what he was trying to do. What he five months ago if you would have asked me hey, what you're doing now is what you would have been doing I would say no and the thing that of today is it's been a kind of kind of figure out what he wants uh, for now because it's the thing it's probably not gonna be full long-term thing like it might like, change tomorrow I wouldn't say no. change tomorrow but I would say that for a while it's um, but right now, I think it's like the right thing for him to do, and uh, I just think you're on your way to start to really create something big and something important. And I don't know. I have the most belief in him. When you say that, why do you say that? That I'm gonna build something? 
You get you because compared me to you a couple of days ago. You compared me to Benjamin Benjamin Franklin. Well, I in think. the sense of why are you laughing, bro? You're the end. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded really weird. <laughs> Yeah, I compare you to Benjamin Franklin, not because you're inventing things or because you're, you know, but because you're, I believe that you're going to create not just one thing, it's going to be multiple things, you know, your name is going to be attached to valuable things in the future. So it's just, you're not just going to be, you're not going to be like Mark Zuckerberg, you know, the Facebook guy or, or um, Elon Musk, the uh, Tesla guy. You're Finthormeyer, the Finthormeyer. When you say that I'm going to build something big, what that you've seen in the last six months makes you think that? How people see you. How people see me? The, the way people react around you, the, the way that, the, the energy that you, it's all about your energy. It's, you know, there are times when you meet someone and you know someone's going to be great. I know that for a fact. I don't know if it's going to be something completely massive. It's going to change the world, or is something going to be? You're not. I don't know if you're going to be the the, the big the biggest like. I don't know if you're going to be the biggest entrepreneur in the world. I don't know if you're going to be the richest person in the world. I just know that whatever you do, whatever you create, is going to be something of immense value. You want to add something more? Mm, me? Yeah. I don't know. You? How are we? Uh, do I have a how question? Do you, wait, how, how do you feel how I about feel? this past six months living with me? Living with you? I mean, it's, it's been... It's so hard for me to judge because this feels like my life right now. Like, for me, I don't even... I don't even like... I don't, I don't, I'm not even in a, in a space where I compare it to my old life. This is just my life now. This is how things are. Like, you always there. Um, and how do you feel about me not being there? I mean, I don't... I think, like, that's, like, one of the things I'm gonna realize once you're gone. But for me, it's really, like... It's all... I'm not getting so emotional. Um, maybe I will, but it's all part of the journey. Like, you... We, we had six amazing months. Um, I'm gonna come back to New York. You're gonna do your thing in Europe, take photos, do your photography there. Like, w we're still like friends. Like, I mean, I knew from the beginning we're not gonna be roommates till the end of our fucking lives. I didn't know. Hey, but no, we're, uh, we're not gonna marry someone and like <laughs> live together and like. <laughs> oh, that's your plan? <laughs> I, just, I didn't know if it's like one month, if it's six months, is it two years? But after six months. I think actually now is a very good time frame. I actually think we're both in a good spot. Me too. That it's fine. Like we, we are now like, we've gotten to know each other well enough that we know that even if we're not going to see each other for the next two years or something, <laughs> it's not like then it's going to be awkward. Like we're still going to be like very good friends. Um, while we're gone, we're still gonna talk. It's not like we only met for like two weeks and kind of liked each other. Um, yeah. I think it's gonna work out, you know. <laughs> that should be the end of the video. How yeah. long is the video, Charlie? Great hug. Yes. Can I get a hug? The way you looked at me, it looked like you wanted a kiss. <laughs> No, no, like 20 minutes. 20. That's 25. 20. Cool, thanks for watching this video. It's um, a, sorry, I'm sorry I made this video too long. No, it's mm -hmm. fine. But it's a special one. Special yeah, edition, it's so. a special one. I think you get some nice insights. We, it was a bit all over the place, but I like that. Should we um, dab? Yeah, let's end the video with dab. Dab. Hard to wake up.